how are you screening for this in your clients? Are you asking them about their dental health or what's your assessment piece like that you would even start to think about an oral connection? It's a great question and it is part of our initial intake um, for all of our providers. So we ask about any history of root canal, crowns, cavities, bleeding gums, sensitive gums, and like I said, even wisdom teeth, because you can have a perfectly healthy mouth. You may never have had a cavity in your life, but you may have had your wisdom teeth taken out and you can have cavitations where there are infections. So we ask about all of it. And then when we're thinking about it in the context of the rest of the body, then the question is for me, is there inflammation that's not necessarily explained by something else? Is there a symptom or symptom profile that doesn't make sense with the other things I know about this person's health history? And then I'll typically go down the dental oral route 